Silver and gold. This is the biggest story going on right now. But have you ever experienced that? Something big is going on right in front of your eyes, but you haven't taken a step back to look at the big picture, to realize what's really going on. And when it comes to silver and gold, we are engaged in a battle for the ages, an epic battle between gold, silver, precious metals, and the fiat dollar. We're talking about the gold standard. I know when we hear that, we think, oh, antiquated, it will never happen again. Well, I've got another way for us to look at it that I think makes it very clear that we are indeed heading back to a gold-backed, silver-backed, real asset-backed monetary system in the world right now. $8,000 $8,000 gold, $20,000 gold. Heck, one analyst is even calling for the prospect of $27,000 gold. And you know what that'll do to the silver price. I'll throw out a number like $5,000 for gold, $100 for silver. It's not being out of the question if we consider the fact that we are in this major battle right now for the gold standard. So we hear all this chatter about the BRICS countries, big meeting coming up on October 22nd, 23rd, about the fact that we may hear about a gold-backed trade settlement currency between those nations. Well, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter if that happens or not, because regardless, we are engaged right now in a massive battle between precious metals and the dollar. De-dollarization is a manifestation of this happening right now. Countries all around the world have expressed their desire to move away from the dollar. But where it gets very interesting, guys, is that there is no other option besides precious metals when it comes to a solid reserve monetary asset. They aren't going to move to the euro. They aren't going to move to the yen. As a matter of fact, Gold recently took the spot of the euro as one of the more favored reserve assets of central banks around the world. The key thing for us to remember here is, right, it's either the dollar or gold for a lot of these countries. They are the world's only two big financial monetary powerhouses, and they are duking it out right now. We may not see it, but it's happening right in front of our eyes. The other big thing happening right now is that you have made the decision to join me in the basement. You're welcome here. We appreciate you. Thank you for your time. Thanks for joining us. We hope you found a little home away from home. Please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up and super chat. Super thanks are always super appreciated. And as this battle unfolds between the dollar, between fiat currency and precious metals, let's remember gold and silver have history and tangibility and intrinsic value on their sides. They are real. They have proven themselves over thousands of years, while many fiat, paper, unicorn fart dust, whatever you want to call it, monetary systems have come and gone. That's what gold and silver have on their side. But what does the U.S. dollar have working for it? Well, it has $35 trillion of debt, another $200 trillion in unfunded liabilities, and a legion of unicorns behind it. It truly is a make-believe, confidence-based paper monetary system. It used to be better, right? We loved it pre-1971 when it was actually backed by gold. But the reality is right now, nothing but a bunch of synthetic debt backs the U.S. dollar. If you're looking to buy gold, silver, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex, the online precious metals bullion dealer and sponsor of Ron's Basement. I was a happy customer before they offered to support the channel, you'll find they have the best prices, quality, and service. I think Pembex is best, and you will too. And be sure to tell them that you're from Ron's Basement. We watch as the battles unfold at the COMEX and the LBMA. Eventually, the true price of silver and gold will be determined by physical demand. The physical market will overwhelm the paper electronic markets 
at the COMEX and the LBMA. We can also see this battle unfolding as many of the world's central banks continue to buy gold. Even Western central banks are getting in on the game now. We know that in the second quarter of 2024, Poland was one of the world's biggest buyers of gold. Designated gold as a tier one asset. This is the central bank of the central banks. And it put gold right on par with things like government debt and cash, the highest level that they could be. This is proof that we've got this battleground going on right now. Ironically, the dollar used to be good buddies with gold for a good part of U.S. history when we were on the gold standard. And I just want to point out that period of time when the United States was on the gold standard marked an unprecedented period of growth and prosperity. Some people say one of the biggest periods of unbelievable advancement of any civilization in the history of the world. We never really went off the gold standard. How do you feel about that? They couldn't completely wipe gold out of the picture, and now it is re-emerging. It kind of went into hibernation, precious metals did, but it's re-emerging stronger, rested, and ready to do battle with the dollar to reclaim its place as the base of true real money. Some people call it God's money. We're absolutely headed back to a gold standard, and to me, the evidence is overwhelming. How do you feel about this? Leave a comment in the comment section below. That's how we learn, is from each other, and you've got a big brain on top of your shoulders. We want to hear from you. But when I consider the fact that there's really only two options in the world right now, gold or fiat, and that we see the fact that a lot of the world's central banks are moving towards gold. And on top of that, we consider that the central bank for the central banks, right, has even themselves said that gold is now on par with the fiat currencies, with the government debt it becomes pretty clear that there's a big major battle going on right now. It's easy for us to get tied up in the day-to-day -day movements of things like gold and silver, what the Fed says, whatever. But I think when we pull our heads out of the sand, which we like to do, and take a look at the big picture, things look great for the precious metals market. I want to say thank you to channel sponsor First Mining Gold. You can learn more about them at firstmininggold.com and also Fortuna Mining. They're a producing gold and silver mining company with operations in Latin America and West Africa. Most important, thank you for being here. Have a great day, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.